your first alert weather with meteorologist Jeff Tenoyer. All right, Jeff, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. This <laughs> is stunning, but it's not going to look like this at this time tomorrow, right? We're going to actually be a little bit ahead of the game right. by tomorrow because we'll have more sun in this look. Also have more sleep. And more a sleep. whole too. extra hour. I'm really right. excited about that one. We are going to be fired up tomorrow. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. This sunrise is close. About 7.08 this morning, 6.10 tomorrow. And speaking of events taking place, the Jackson County Jubilee is happening today as well. And I think it was Maryland was just on my Facebook page she says you know Jeff it's kind of chilly out here in Scottsboro right now give it some time let the sun work its magic and the temperatures will get up into the 70s and you could have picked a better day to have the Jubilee I mean it's gonna be beautiful there's the glow in Athens yeah elephant in the room for sure uh, Claudia nailed that one right there because this is hard to hide like I need to get out of the way so you can see more of it right it's that nice outside beautiful glow it's been like that pretty much all week long fall back this weekend clocks go back an hour so those sunrises move up an hour so do the sunsets too and I know that can bother many of you and I understand when it gets dark at pre 5 p.m. You're like, oh gosh, you know, it seems like it's going to be forever till we get back to a sunset that's a little bit later in the day. It will happen when we get to like mid March, but it takes a while to get there. So obviously the clock change can be very frustrating, but you still have to do it this weekend. You do it tonight, technically at 2 a.m. Temperatures right now, there's that chill in Scottsboro at 32. Not quite the coldest temperature we got, though. Pulaski's at 30, but then just drive on 64 over to Fayetteville. Park City, you're in the 40s right now. Yeah, temperatures a little bit all over the place, but we'll come together this afternoon. The good news, though, the wind. See the zeros here? Okay, so when you have really dry conditions, we know that. We've talked about it at length. Um, not much rainfall. The air is dry. Plenty of sunshine. The last thing you want with fire danger is to have a gusty wind. We don't have that today. Still a fire threat, but hopefully with the wind's down, we won't be talking about fires that are spreading across the Tennessee Valley like we did this past week. Satellite and radar, a little cloud cover spreading across northern Tennessee and Kentucky. We may get clipped by some of the clouds. It's a frontal boundary that's dissolving as it gets here. It doesn't bring any rain, but a few clouds may come by tonight. That's about it. Lots of sunshine, warm temperatures for the weekend and into next week. Maybe make a run of 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday. Drop a little bit for next weekend for Veterans Day when we fall back to low 60s. But the stretch of weather is gorgeous. I mean, I know we need rain, but Saturday, Sunday, Monday, take the day off Monday now, make it a three day weekend. 70s galore and the drought moderate will get worse before it gets better. We're in the red. That's a considered extreme for most of the Tennessee Valley. Might mix in a few exceptional uh, colors in there next time we get an update, which will be on Thursday. Here's your next chance of rain. Let me fast forward all the way to next Thursday. We know the weather's going to be quiet. Watch what happens with this frontal boundary. Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon. Look at all that rain, right? And then watch what happens as it tries to move through the area. It's like a magic wand. Poof, and all the rain goes away. And that has been the problem for us in the last two months. It does not look like it will be a tremendous amount of rain. It will take our temperatures back a little bit. I mentioned I was going to talk about El Nino. When you get to the winter months and you're in El Nino pattern, it usually means wet conditions for the deep south. Let's hope that plays out because we really need to flip this pattern.